Hey everybody, this is Darren Van Dam, and you are watching Flick Connection, the show that helps you get more out of movies, and today I'm doing something a little different. I'm just going to give you details on my absolute favorite movie to watch every single Halloween for the past 15 years. Now before we get to my absolute favorite, I've got a few friends from YouTube that helped me make this video. They submitted a quick little Flick Connection style review about their favorite movie to watch every Halloween. So check out what they have to say, you'll get some additional recommendations, and then I'll be right back with my pick. Hi, I'm Emma from Spooky Astronauts, and I'm going to tell you about Ghost Watch, a TV movie. Yes, wait for it though, that you can't miss this Halloween. The movie first aired in 1992 on Halloween across the UK on the BBC. The movie was presented as a live cross on TV with four well-known and well-respected presenters who worked with a crew to investigate a haunted house in suburbia. But the reason this was such an amazing historical cinematic experience, I guess TV experience, was the fact that people didn't know it was real and it was presented like the War of the Worlds or Blair Witch. The TV show shut down BBC's switchboards because people were calling for help and it's also the first ever TV show to make it into the British Medical Journal for having caused post-traumatic stress disorder on children. You cannot make this stuff up. Watching this TV movie today, of course it did not age as well as we hoped it would have, but you can definitely see the movie magic and see why everyone was so terrified tuning in. When Darren asked me to come on his channel and suggest a movie that's perfect to watch around Halloween, my mind jumped instantly to Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. I saw this movie for the first time when I was somewhere between 7 and 9 years old and I'm really glad that when I was younger I didn't see that bumper that said it was a Halloween movie because I would have hated it once I realized Michael Myers wasn't in it, just like a lot of other people out there. To this day though, I think it's awesome that it uses Halloween as a Celtic holiday and kind of digs into its roots and the scene when the kid's head melts into a bunch of snakes and other insects that are giving me chills to think about right now is just plain terrifying. It's kind of bittersweet for me that this movie never caught on because as much as I love the new Halloween movie, the idea of killing the shape in Halloween 2 and then continuing the franchise as a yearly anthology like John Carpenter and Deborah Hill initially wanted sounds so awesome to me as an adult. Regardless though, if you've never seen Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, you definitely should buy the Scream Factory Steelbook they just put out. It has awesome art and I think you'll like this movie movie so much that I can guarantee it'll become a Halloween classic. Anyways, thanks a lot for having me on your channel again, Darren. I hope you have a happy Halloween. Hello everybody, Laura Legends here today to tell you one of my favorite films to watch during this spooky Halloween season. Now I'm a giant baby, scared of witches, paranormal stuff, getting on a plane, but my favorite horror genre is, you guessed it, a good horror sci-fi thriller. And one of my favorite films in this genre is the 2007 rated R film The Mist, based on Stephen King's 1980s novel. We are taken to a a small simple town where freak storm unleashes a strange mist forcing a band of citizens to barricade themselves in a supermarket where strange things begin to happen as they discover what is really in the mist. This timeless film contains one of my favorite movie scenes of all time ever and is so eloquently crafted that it will have you on the edge of your seat in anticipation, suspense, and at times anger. The characters in this movie are just fantastic and really delve into the human psyche, hysteria, paranoia, and even one's own faith. This is an awesome movie and if you haven't seen it I'm super jealous because I I wish I could be watching it for the first time again too. But beware, after watching it, you may become wary of walking into the mist. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Danny from the Blu-ray Dan channel and Darren has asked me to be on here once again, this time to talk to you guys about my favorite horror movie to watch during the month of October or, uh, or Halloween season. And uh, this one's gonna be 30 Days of Night which is one of my go-to choices. Honestly, this is not just uh, one of my favorite horror films to watch during this month. This is one of my favorite films in general. Um, for many reasons, honestly. Uh, number one, the snowy setting. I absolutely love that environment. And just the story itself, where vampires travel to this town that has strictly 30 days a night and they can kind of walk around and just uh, all day long and just have their pick of whoever they want. There's just something really creepy about that and very smart about it that I've always loved. And uh, the movie, it's just, it's, it's just, it's quiet, it's eerie, and it's got a great cast. You got Josh Hartnett, who's great and everything, and honestly, Ben Foster. Ben Foster is criminally underrated. Uh, he is fantastic in this movie, as well as the vampires and the rest of the cast. Uh, if you guys have not seen 30 Days a Night, you don't know what you're missing. Honestly, check it out. Uh, Darren, thank you so much for having me on here, man. I appreciate it, as always. Happy, happy Halloween, guys. 
So I really appreciate everyone participating in this video. Uh, show them some love by going to their channels, checking out their content. If you like their content, definitely subscribe and click that bell. But there are links to their channels in the description below. Now my absolute favorite movie to watch every single year, with no exceptions, is Dead Alive, directed by Peter Jackson. I love everything about this movie. I discovered it, like I said, about 15 years ago. It was late high school. And it, at the time, was the goriest thing I had ever seen. And at that time, at least at its release in 1992, long before I graduated high school, uh, it was the goriest movie on record, at least one of them. And it really, really still holds its own in that regard. However, it is very entertaining gore. This is not super intense realistic gore. While a lot of the blood and guts do look real, uh, the scenarios are not realistic. You're not really fearing for people getting torn apart. This one's not particularly nightmare inducing. It's just a lot of good Halloween fun. Severed limbs all over the place. Blood all over everyone. Weird goop. Vomit. It, it, zombies having intercourse. It, producing a zombie baby that is just bonkers actual intestines climbing around and, and, and chasing somebody. Uh, an old woman eats a dog. There's a gypsy. There's a, a giant monster. There's, it, it, there's so much going on in this movie, and it is all so much fun. Now, the only problem with Dead Alive is it is very difficult to watch, and I don't mean because it's gory. I mean, it's difficult to get your hands on it. Now, obviously, I have my own copy. I've had it for a long time, but the DVD is currently over $50 on Amazon, so do not seek it out there, at least not right now. You could go back, the price is probably gonna drop eventually, but it is Halloween, people are trying to get their hands on it, and stock is limited because there's just a limited number of these DVDs left out there. Other places like eBay, I've seen prices closer to $20, so shop around. If you're into practical effects, uh, zombies, uh, gory movies, fun Halloween movies, if you're into any of that, this movie is the holy grail of all of that, in my opinion. However, I don't want to leave you hanging. This is Flick Connection. I tend to give you recommendations on Amazon Prime, Netflix. So, to back this one up, Peter Jackson previously did a movie called Bad Taste. It is currently available on Amazon Prime. I also recommend that. I really, really like that movie. I do not like it as much as, as Dead Alive. It is fun, though. It's done on a much, much lower budget. It starts off very, very slow. Peter Jackson is in it. He plays multiple roles, and he does an incredible job doing that. He's not the best actor, but he does a great job of like playing these different crazy characters. But the movie's really fun. If you're into kind of the grindhouse thing, the campy horror, uh, it just, just weird. If you're into weird, uh, Bad Taste is a great way to go. Even though it starts off slow, and you're going to kind of be like, what, the, what is Darren smoking? Why is he recommending this? I'm telling you, the wheels come off of this one. There's explosions and muscle cars and shootouts. And I, I don't want to get into too many more details because it's major spoiler territory. But I do recommend that movie. You can check it out right now on Amazon Prime. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite movie to watch every single Halloween without exception, if you have one. But I'll keep producing videos just like this one as long as you keep watching them. And a special thanks to everyone who participated in this video but you will see me on the next one.